curious, do you have, do you think like the version of you, how, or here's the question, how do you think that version of you before you went on exchange would have responded to this podcast? Like just listening to it as like a listener. Not yeah. as like, not as like, oh, this is what I'm going to do in the future. I'd like pretend it was Joe who runs graduate theory podcast mm. in there, but Joe has obviously a huge overlap. Like, do you think this would have, what impact do you think this would have? Would you have listened to stuff like this? Yeah. At that time? It's, it's a good question. I, th I think I would have, but I think I would have just, it would have been one of those things. Like I would have just listened and then that's it. And I would have just like, tick, I listened to Over it. The head. Yep, cool. Like I listened to productivity podcasts today, like. Cool. No, but there, there wasn't that, that like connection to here's what I listened and here's the things they said. Now here's how it, here's what I'm going to change in the things that I do. I think that disconnect mm. was definitely missing. And it's something that I try to do even now, even, even last year when I was reading heaps of books, like I've read books, you know, almost just for the sake of it. And yeah, it, there too. wasn't <laughs> like, and there wasn't that connection to, yeah. okay, I'm reading it, it. Even it comes back to like, I'm not just going to read it because like reading is good and, and like, Bill Gates yeah. reads, <laughs> so like I should read, you know, it, it comes back to like, okay, here's a problem that I have. Yeah. Now here's what I'm going to do to fix it. And the things, the tools I'm going to use to fix the problem. I'm going to listen to books, listen to this particular podcast, do these things to fix this problem and coming at it that way rather than, which I guess is almost that intentionality, right? It's like, let's be it intentional when, yeah. I'm, when, I'm, reading when I'm reading, when yeah. I'm listening, listening, what am I actually trying to get out of this and what am I going to try and use from the things that I'm doing. So I think, yeah, I, if I was listening to this years ago, I probably would have just, there wouldn't have been that connection. And, and that's something that I hope comes across too. And, and what we speak about in the episodes is not only speaking about these topics, but also having that application of like, okay, we spoke about self-doubt. How do you do that? Because I, I think there's a, a lot of things <laughs> I read and, yeah. and listen to, there's, there's no connection to that where it's, don't let self-doubt hold you back. Yeah, yeah it's kind of Thanks. like, let's, Thanks. like you motivated me, that's great, but like there's no, what do I actually do? Um, and and you're not like, it's, it's hard to work that out, but I think having that actual action step is, is something that's important. And not only listening to the action step, but actually doing the action step as well is, is something that like <laughs> many people, you could even just sit them down and be like, hey, you've got to do this, 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 and then you get this result and and they still won't do it. So I think having that, Having that there, at least for the people that do want to do this, the action steps, is is mm. important. Yeah, I think that's a big, I mean, if you want to talk about the self-doubt bit and just riff a little bit before I've got one more, probably one more question for mm. you after that, but I feel like to avoid it being just, yeah, blanket, blanket, I don't know, motivation pump statements, like mm. don't let self-doubt hold you back. Don't be, held, don't be afraid. Very talk is cheap, right? My thinking is that you do overcome it, probably going back to what your reference to Andrew there before around, oh, you've gone through self-doubt on a, maybe on a career or a career risk level a couple of times or a creative risk level a couple of times. And, and then you get familiar and you get used to it, but it's through proceeding through it. Like you said, action steps is a good word phrase. Sorry like taking action steps to actually get on the other side of something, having gone through it, that's actually the key to overcoming it mm. in, in my mind, like you're taking the process, like your best example is I'm assuming stuff to do with graduate theory. And it's probably things like, I would assume like releasing it for the first time, maybe because you're thinking, oh, is this weird to do? Like, mm. do people want to hear me interviewing people? Those things are very common. Mm. Maybe reaching out to guests as well. Cause there's a lot of like, oh, like there's a lot of potential for, I don't know, rejection or embarrassment and, and things like that. Am I bothering this person? Things like that. So maybe, I don't know, reflecting on that, you can comment, but to me, those are the things, if people are listening, wanting to know, how do I overcome that? Like James seems to be certainly overcoming it because, because you've been there to me, I, I, I would say it's those things, but I don't know if you have any comments or anything else around that. Yeah. Yeah, I think the, the self-doubt thing and it's something that I, I guess, like you said, there's been instances where I've overcome that maybe successfully, we'll, we'll find out, yeah. but I think like to take it back to the action steps there where it's okay. Like the first thing is to notice that what you're experiencing. So like notice that you are having that self-doubt is, is the first step. So 
let's say one thing would be, let's say a, a new position comes up at work that you think you might like to do, but maybe you could apply yep. to do it and you're, and you're not sure if you should, or even if you've applied yep. and you're not sure if you're going to get it, you don't, you don't yep. believe in yourself that you could actually do the role. That's the first thing. Notice that you're actually experiencing Notice. that. Yep. And then the, the second thing is um, even ask why, why are you experiencing that? Like, where does it come from? Do you just not believe in yourself generally? Or like, does it come from, maybe there's like linking back to like some kind of a childhood experience is something that we could talk about as well, but we don't have time, but is it a an interesting experience. topic? Yeah. Or whether, yeah, like a high school experience or whatever it is, why are you thinking that? Perhaps you can think of reasons why too. And then, and then just trying to rebuild your confidence a little bit and say, okay, Doing yep. this is going to be good for these reasons. And, and even thinking about, yeah, I, th I think for, for myself, I guess if I take it back to starting the podcast, it was more of like, well, I don't actually know. Andrew, Andrew was saying this. He was saying, chances are if you've applied and you've gone that far, you're capable to do the thing. So like you wouldn't have even like thought about doing it if you didn't, if you weren't able to. So I think, I think that's big. And I think it's really trying to develop that, like recognize that feeling and just sort of sinking into it. Even that's something that Darren would say. It's like, just sit there with it, feel where it is in your body, sit down, like close your eyes and just experience as much as much of it as you can. And then just let it, let it like do its thing. Let yourself it just wants let to it be out. Expressed. Yeah. That's what he said. Cause yeah, I, I, I found in my, in my experience, like there's been times where that's happened, where things have come up and I've, I've put myself forward. And then even during that process, I've been like, oh, like I can't do this. Like they won't pick me because like I'm not good enough or whatever it is. And I think if I could go back to those scenarios and even it's, I've found as time's gone on that I actually would have been pretty good at doing these things that, that I perhaps Damn, the opportunities yeah. that I didn't get, or at least uh, seeing the people that, that are in these positions that perhaps I didn't think I could do, that they're not anything special and I easily could have done that as well so I think I think it's a definitely a difficult thing to get through that self-doubt but I think I think it's still quite vague I feel like <laughs> I feel like it's something you've got to go through it is actually no no it's well that's that's worth giving people comfort over as well mm. it is vague because it's very individual mm. it's very individual specific any high level concept in my opinion is really hard to just talk through mm. that's why there's so many people in maybe the spaces of personal development and self-awareness and all this stuff and from spirituality to practical career stuff to product, there's so much in there and it's good. You talked about yourself being, uh, whatever, before you went on exchange and this might've just gone over your head. But the thing I notice about this kind of journey is that at some level, the podcast, people start by reading books and listening to podcasts first. They start by consuming content before they take action because it's, it's an easier step and they're getting ready. And then it all sinks in. So the, the podcast that just glossed over, yes, like it, it wasn't like the thing you grabbed and implemented, but that prepared you for something you were going to listen to in three years after you'd done exchange, you'd half listen to these podcasts, the message is trying to get to you and it's sinking in. So on a broader level, yes, there's not something that you might hear in a one podcast episode, it's just going to dissolve all the self doubt. But I would draw it out to zoom out and draw your attention to the fact that it is a process. And James, you are, people have transparency on your story now. They can see the process, how it went for you. And I think that's, that makes it okay. Cause you're just, you are at some point on that. And if you're, if they're listening to this, we know enough about someone listening to this, that they're listening to this. So that means that they are, they are somewhere on that, that journey. To, they might just be listening cause graduate theory, great podcast. Or they might be facing this and they might be part of the early career and natural. There's everyone's got self doubt. It's very natural. There's so much comparison. There's so many mm. measurable. I did or I didn't get it. So yes, it's, it's quite a journey. And, but I just think if, if you're listening to this, you are somewhere on that journey, which means I don't, we don't, we tell you how long it's going to take. And we can also, we can probably say it's probably never going to be completely done. But you probably get used to it and it gets easier and patience for patience and process are a big two, but ongoing journey, ongoing journey. The last, the last thing I want to end on, if we could, was uh, obviously have to, have to give you a taste of your own medicine.